Why, hello there. Oh, kill Yo, what's going on guys here? This is Xbox Man and today I got for you a mod showcase and I'll be showing you the Star Wars mod. As you can see, I got all the armor for the Stormtrooper right now and uh, it is pretty awesome. This is one of my favorite mods. I really like all the stuff it has to offer and it just actually got updated to 1.6.4. Unfortunately, not 1.6, 7.2, but we can always live with that, and uh, it's still pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and go show you everything there is to know about this mod. Okay, so the thing we're going to start first off with are all of our items and weaponry and all that stuff, because this game adds, this mod adds a few extra weapons and items and armors and all that stuff. We're going to show you how to make... Uh, what are these called? These are, are these called uh, light swords? Oh god. Okay guys, I'm back after that distraction. I'm really sorry. I'm really really sorry. Okay, so this is our different colors. Um, there's actually four different colors of lightsabers and they can all be made by using uh, making that handle having rose red and crystal for the blue one it would be a handle some lapis lazuli and some a crystal and crystal is a another new element in the game that is found it's actually harder to find than diamonds so uh, be wary of that you can actually find it in the nether too it looks a lot like diamonds but it turns out it becomes this this crystal it's kind of an orish um, for your green we're gonna have a handle a lime die and that's about it I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this uh, you know what these two are already after my four, two other reiterations this one is the purple die we can actually make dual wielded lightsabers and I'm gonna go ahead and show you these um, what they look like on the the index right here and uh, the red lightsaber does uh, 14 attack damage but the double red lightsaber does 24 attack damage so it does a little bit more and all it is is crafted by using two of that colored lightsaber so you can do that for this one and for that one so pretty much self-explanatory they're pretty cool um, they're basically the main thing of the mod what they wanted to add and they're freaking awesome they attack a lot better and a lot cooler so the next thing we got we got all of our armor for our stormtrooper and the stormtrooper tapes one crystal two iron ignix and an ink sack so that's the that's the helmet i'm gonna show you the stats on this right here they're a little bit better than a uh most uh leggings and boots and stuff like that they're pretty good when it comes to damage and stuff they're more uh they're more used for decorations so the next thing we got is the chest plate and uh it's simply crafted like that um, and they actually call them different they call it the helm the plate the leggings and the boots so um, that's what those are the leggings are crafted like this with the cr ink sack the crystals and all that good stuff and that's how you make the boots right there so um, that's how you make your your stormtroopers if you want to be on the I think it's the Imperial if I'm right um, I'm not too sure I'm not that big into Star Wars I just watched the movies once or twice and I thought it was an awesome movie so um, and I saw this and I had to jump on it. The next thing we got is our rebel stuff. If you want to be a rebel, go ahead and do it. And we got our rebel helm, plate, leggings, and doing all that stuff. It requires both the same things when it comes to crystals, except it needs orange dye for all the things. So as you can see right here, uh, that's the chest plate, and this is the leggings, and this is the boots. Um, we'll go ahead and quickly show you before it gets dark out and I have to cut the video again. Uh, what it all looks like uh, let me see if I can go ahead and put these on if I'm doing this right it should be eh, eh. maybe if I if I just take these off oh um, I'm stripping I'm stripping oh yeah um, did we, are we missing leggings I don't know what we're missing we're just gonna get it all just in case all right we're missing something one of these Alright, so this is what I look like. I kind of look like a clown or an astronaut, but uh, this is the rebel uniform. I think it's pretty awesome myself, so uh, yeah, that's about it. That's a, that's it for all the armor and good stuff like that. We're going to actually go ahead and show you uh, everything else that's on here. Uh, you can use crystal crushing hammers and all that. That will be in the next part. Uh, we're going to go ahead and crush it. Um, if you guys were wondering what the, um, the crystal ore looked like and... Um, it looks a little bit like this. It looks a lot like diamonds. A little too much like diamonds in my opinion. Um, that's what it looks like. 
it's pretty much exactly like diamonds. Yeah. And uh, it's easier to find in the nether than it is to find in the, uh, the real world. So go ahead, go into that nether and go find it. And we're going to go ahead and start up the next part. Once this music gets done, I'll see you there. All right, guys, I am back here for the next part to our mod showcase right here. This next part is all about the spaceship tap and the other parts to the mod. Uh, the first part where all the weapons kind of, uh, I went over, I did a brief overview of that. That's pretty easy. Um, this right here, it's just basically like little papers. Um, it's pretty stupid in my opinion. I don't, <laughs> I don't really recommend that at all. It's just, it, it's so stupid. And this part is actually the cool part. Uh, this is my favorite part of the whole mod. Um, I, I know I said that was my favorite part of the mod, but this is my other favorite part of the mod. Uh, I, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I have much, much more to say about that. And these are basically all the, the kind of magic, magically cool things you can do. Um, the first thing we're gonna have to show you right here is actually called the the Holocron Hut Maker. I think it's called the Holocron Hut, and it makes Holocron huts. So what you need to do is get two handles and a Holocron. You're probably like, what? How do you, how do you make a Holocron? And I'm gonna show you right here in my craft guide. I didn't feel as if you need to do this. Now there are two kind of holocrons. There's a fake holocron and the actual legit holocron. And a holocron is made by having a block of diamond and uncharged crystal pieces. And you're probably thinking, how do you make uncharged crystal pieces? So what you gotta do is you gotta get this, uh, let's look at this crystal pieces. Uh, they're right here. And what you do is you basically put a crystal crushing hammer and um, one crystal and you'll hit 32 of them. And one more thing, which is our crystal crushing hammer. What you need to do to make this is you're either going to need some stone and um, a stick, or you're going to need some pressure plates, some steel things, and all that. And uh, it, it can get complicated. I just do it this way. Just go ahead and do that way. And you just put these two together, and you get crystal crushing pads, which then converts into a holocron. So go ahead, go do that all that good stuff and make your holocron after I'm done there and I'm gonna actually show you what this does you actually get 10 uses and what it does is it basically makes you an insta house Star Wars theme though here we are I'll just right click right there just right click it while you have it and here is your holocron house kind of looks Star Wars ish Star Wars esque um, now you can go ham like I am and make a huge holocron mansion uh, this is way more than 10 because I'm on creative mode but here's the holocron uh, super house let's see let's see if it connects eh, give me in eh, eh. you know we're not gonna be immature like that and you can basically make like neighborhoods and all that cool stuff um, it's a pretty cool little feature uh, I know you can do a lot more on the sim you craft mod if you haven't seen that go check that out on my channel but um, that's pretty much about it what you can do with the this little holocron hut thing the next two things are gonna be your favorite things you're gonna love these um, this opens up so much for let's plays and it's just so awesome and these are your two spaceships I don't really know how to make them they said you need four lava buckets or uh, eight lava buckets for each and the thing itself the um, the ship itself and what it is is the hot ship and the Mustafar ship I'm pretty sure you have to do something with making these, but I cannot find a freaking description anywhere. So what I recommend doing is just spawning them in and uh, doing whatever you need to do to do that. And um, what they do is that you can travel to new worlds, and that is freaking awesome. So all you need to do is go ahead and get, that, get this thing all fully charged and stuff, and we're going to go place it down somewhere pretty awesome. So we're going to go place it down. Just right click right here, and there's your... I think this was the Hoth one. Yeah, this is the Hoth one. The white one's the Hoth. And this is the first area. And this is kind of their ship. It's pretty awesome. It's a pretty cool little thing. Um, overall, I really like it. Go over here inside this little thing. Uh, once you get that, just place the lever down. Go in. And here's your really cool little ship. It's pretty awesome. And all you have to do is go to this control panel and press right click. Now download terrain, it takes a little bit longer, but I've already pre-done this already. And uh, as you can see, here's the new world. Yeah, so it loads a lot faster than me. And this is pretty awesome. It's nothing really special, 
but uh, it just adds kind of a new element if you want to make um, a new thing in a new house in a new area you don't really get too many new ores but it's it's such an awesome little world I'm, I'm glad they put this here uh, overall it's pretty awesome this is Hoth so we can go ahead and make you know you can almost make an adventure map out of this and you can put like your little hologram hut down here and it looks a little bit more official like it's something something special that's about it right there um so this is hot pretty pretty um pretty standard pretty straightforward and freaking music go off and um yeah so let's go back the easiest way to do that is just get another hoth ship and go ahead and place this down right here hit me good and uh place this place this lever go in and come on back so you should teleport about the same place you were. Oh god. Am I lost? I better not. Uh, cut! Okay guys, so I finally find my way back to my whole building area. And there's this stinking hoth ship. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go. We're getting blah, blah. We're gonna go ahead and show you the Mustafar ship. And all you have to do, like. What the heck? I was inside the ship the whole time. Disclaimer, do not press it right there. Uh, I'd recommend just kind of like placing it over there. And I've never had this problem before. So it's the same thing, um, what you gotta do with the last one. You just go ahead, hit that, make the lever go inside and you're in your cozy little hoss ship. Inside, Skype message! Alright, um, just go ahead, right click it, just like that. You're gonna download new terrain. This is my favorite of the two worlds. I like Mustafar better than Hoth. So the fact it looks more badass. So, um, I've already downloaded this terrain about a hundred times. I'm just gonna keep stalling with my voice, and hopefully, you can find my caressing voice really nice. Uh, um, yeah. So go like this video up. Go comment, subscribe, do everything you need to do to uh, follow me. I post two. Oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> away from that whole. Oh my god! Like. Black, 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 black. All right, we got in a real laggy area. The cooler in this area is just because of the colors. I like the colors a lot. It's kind of like, like laggy and and it has like flames and fire everywhere. And they've got these cool little guys. These are kind of like little pterodactyl, like not pterodactyl, like I don't know, like dinosaurs. I don't know what they are. What do you call them? You probably the big, the bigger Star Wars enthusiasts that know what I'm talking about probably um, know what these things are but overall this is the brief little scan of you scan uh, I'll do a little scan of her uh, scan I'll, I'll scan of you a scan a overview whatever you want to call it um, they're actually pretty docile I went into survival mode and I hit them a few times and they actually aren't mean to you they're pretty nice uh, they follow you everywhere which is kind of creepy and that's pretty much about it with Hoth um, Kind of a deadlier area but it's really cool i kind of like it um uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go mark our territory right here and place down a uh uh, uh a, a thing one of these one of these hol holocron huts i like to that's how i kind of you know that's my trademark a holocron hut it's like all right so that's pretty much about it with the mod i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna travel back um, I'm now I'm going to be in a way different area than I started off with. Um, that's one thing I really wish they would have done. I'm just going to break right through. Is they would have, you could travel through. And they're actually planning on making new islands and stuff like that. And it's pretty awesome. They have a lot of cool plans with this mod. So just go ahead, download it, and keep it in your, uh, your saves. And as they keep updating it, keep updated and figure out all that stuff. And hey, we're not too far from our actual area kind of know in a general area of direction we are uh, yeah so they're updating this mod very very frequently um, as as the game updates they they update and they actually add new things they don't just update and it's pretty awesome so uh, that's pretty much about it I'm gonna see if I can find anything more I can talk about right here the decorations you can just get like a Star Wars like I, I don't even know what this thing is I'll, I'll go ahead and show you it I I really didn't find this very important but you know yeah and you can, eh, eh, we can say, uh, yeah, let's just say that. Let's just see what happens. Close. Nothing happened. Alright, that thing's stupid. 
You can have, this is kind of like more decorations. These are all decorations, they're just little cool new blocks and that's pretty much about it. Um, I think that, oh, I wish I could learn how to make it. Everything else, it's pretty straightforward, pretty standard. And this mod's pretty awesome, so go check it out. Link will be in the description. I want to thank you all for watching, guys. Um, and if you were able to stay, stand through this Skype message, if you were able to stand through, stand through this message, stand, gosh dang it, Skype. If you were able to last through this whole mod showcase, uh, I want you to put something new in the comment section. I want you to put in hashtag, uh, Hashtag rebel nation hashtag rebel nation. Okay, we'll do that or do hashtag rebel nation or hashtag Imperial nation one of the two. I'm gonna do hashtag rebel nation. So do hashtag rebel nation And uh, that's pretty much it go like this video up comment subscribe do whatever you want to do to this video caress it make love to it uh, And I'll see you guys next time go check me out later